one thing that most people who use shared CN always complain about is the fact that it doesn't have variants and all websites made with it look the same. Now, some people are coming up with themes and wrappers for it, but the one we'll be looking at today is Origin UI. Right now, they only have some of the basic components, but each one has a ton of variants that you can just copy and paste into your project. And did I mention that it has dark mode? Yeah, it has dark mode. Now, the first one the first component which we'll be looking at is the input component right now it has a collection of 76 inputs components built with next years and tailwind css as you can see it has the error component and just things that you have to worry about later you know when you're building up forms and and basically inputs these are things that you're gonna have to rewrite over and over and over again and Right now they made it so you can just copy and pay, paste this into your project and everything is just easy. Like you can just copy and paste it and customize the code to fit in whatever you want it to fit into. So when you need a component, you just look at which components that you need and you just wrap copy here and that is that. And you can see it has a bunch of input components that you, you eat, I bet you easily find one that you can use. But if if not, they are they are constantly adding new components, so you I'm pretty sure that they're gonna have it very soon. Now one thing is some of these components have extra dependencies. So which whichever one has dependency you can see it is added at the bottom here. So like this one has um React dependency, this one has an input OTP dependency if you just click on it. So this is the input OTP um, package. You can see this is what is used under the hood to to make that component. And it's it's great that they include this here that they rely on something for, to make the functionality work. So let's quickly go on to and check on the button button component here. This one has fifty one components right now, and you see. It has all these things that you can easily customize and you can easily use. Um, the, I, I see a lot of this being used on on sign up pages. So this is something that a lot of developers have to work and build out every single time. And now it is very simplified. And what about Star? This GitHub Star component. Almost every website, every, almost every open source website has this. Now you can see it is here on the page as well. So almost every every web open source website has this now and yet it is not something that you can just copy and paste but thankfully these guys have made it something you can just copy and paste now now looking at the checkbox a lot of stuff that you really wouldn't think that you would need now this one right here this light team uh, this light team pick are here i think i've seen this in a couple of sites like maybe upright site upright that dot io I really can't remember now. There's this one for the for billing. So if you want to build monthly, if you want to build yearly, and it has really beautiful, simple animations for some of this, for some of these um components. So that's something I really appreciate them for. Now the select button here, the select component here has 51 components that you can use. You see. Now this one has the native. So if you click in it, it brings up the uh, native view but if you look at the cu the customized ones you can see the github here you can i think they have discussions here where you can suggest new um components so yeah this is where you suggest new components so if you see a lot of people working on a project like it's something that's about to be big and i think this is one problem that a lot of people have been struggling with for so long now and they just haven't really found the solution for it and these guys came up with a solution and i think that's really something that needs to be uploaded and now to have this working in your project is really simple this is all the setup required you would need to have tailwind css installed though but the whole setup 
makes it look like you're working with chat scene so just copy this like it says copy all the txx files from module region ui component for the entire project so for this say this component now you just copy this into the ui of your folder so now add the following css variables to your style sheet you don't need to override them if they already if you already have them you need to have the series css variables added to your style sheet so and this is a layer base so you need to have tailwind css installed on in your project also add this to your tailwind config this is basically if using what you've defined here and that's that for the 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 setup that's all you need to have the setup more people are building component libraries now isn't it? that's because they don't want to keep on just building the same I, the same components over and over again for uh, a new project mm. something like this makes that a breeze to work with because all you have to do is just copy this and you can customize everything every aspect of this you can customize it because it is actually just using tailwind css and Next.js under the hood nothing fancy except for when they have um uh, extra dependencies that you would need to just install like react area here just install that and you're good to go